One of IUPUI's better wins this season was Purdue Fort Wayne. It was not today. It was in Fort Wayne in January, and the Mastodons had this date circled on their calendar. You could see it and how they played. They beat IUPUI by 27. We'll break it down for you. Bob Lovell, Greg Rakestraw here on ESPN+. Plus. And while the highlights fly by, there were some offensive things that you liked from IUPUI. They shot just shy of 50%. They did not rely on the three-point mm -hmm. shot. But simply, Purdue Fort Wayne wasn't missing. They were 70% from the floor in the second half, 60% from the game, 12 of 25 from three-point range. Simply put, it's tough to win on days when the opposing team does yeah, that. And they were in rhythm from the start, Greg. And, and when you're playing a team that's in rhythm and in, in the flow and, and having the success they are, you've got to do some things to, to get them out of that. You've got to pressure the ball more, a hand up on the shooter, those kinds of things, and be better and more efficient on the offensive end, and the Jags weren't able to do that. And this is a Mastodon's team that, again, they began the season 5-0. and uh -huh. They began the season 13-2. and They won their first four league games. They have plummeted since that time, but you know that talent is there. No, they're a good team. I mean, they're, they're an explosive team. That's John Kaufman's M.O. He has guys who can score. He coaches them that way. They're going to run the floor well. They space you on the offensive end. And as I mentioned, you got four or five guys on the floor at one time who can all put it on the floor and make decisions and shoot and off the catch, which they're very good at. And so... That's why they are as good as they are and had a great day today. Jalen Jackson, 24. Quentin Morton Robertson, 14. Eric Mulder, 15. Anthony Roberts, 13. Again, all starters were simply fantastic for Purdue Fort Wayne. For IUPUI, Bryce Monroe, 16. Vince Brady, 11. But now the scary thing is for Monroe, he left the game about five minutes mm -hmm. left to play with a calf injury. Hopefully, we see him on Wednesday night when IUPUI returns to action against Detroit Mercy. There's one more home game left for IUPUI. It'll be in 18 days against Milwaukee. Thanks for joining us today and all season long for IUPUI basketball on ESPN+.